To resize a selected layer, you can click and drag on any of its selection handles. Handles on the sides of the layer will adjust the height or width, while handles on the corners will adjust the height and width together. Similar to drawing new shapes, holding Shift will resize the layer proportionately, keeping its height and width at the same ratio. And holding Option will resize the layer from its center. For precise size adjustments, you can also hold the Command key and use the left and right arrows to nudge the width, or the up and down arrows to nudge the height. You can also resize a layer from the width and height fields in the inspector. As you type, you'll see a preview on the canvas of the new bounding box. The lock icon between the width and the height fields also allows you to lock the layer's proportions. Once you're satisfied, just press return to apply the changes. Now for some tricks. By default, layers will resize from their top left corner, but you can add the letter R or C to the end of a new width value to scale from the right edge or center instead, or the letter B or M to the end of a new height value to scale from the bottom edge or middle. Similarly, this also works in the X and Y position fields to position layers relative to the respective edges of an artboard. These inspector fields can also do math for you. You can use the plus sign to add, minus sign to subtract, asterisk to multiply, or forward slash to divide. You can even use percentages to change the height or width of a layer relative to the height or width of the group or artboard that it's inside of. Going one step further, you can also type W, H, X, and Y to grab the width, height, X, and Y values of the selected element. For example, if you set a rectangle's height to W, the height will become the same value as the width and become a perfect square. You can also rotate layers from the inspector or hold the command key and drag one of the corner selection handles. Holding the shift key as you drag will snap to 15 degree increments.